तो हेलो गाइस फिर से आपका स्वागत है क्लासिक बीट बाई सब चैनल पर आज फिर से हम बात करेंगे 2023 की मस्ट वेटेड ओलम्पिया 2023 इसमें अभी लेटेस्ट कॉन्फ्रेंस हुई है जिसमें हार्डी से पूछा गया कि क्या सोच रहे हैं आप तो उन्होंने जवाब दिया है कि मैं एक वॉल्फ हूँ और मैं हंटिंग के लिए वेट कर रहा हूँ ना मैं किसी लॉइन से डरता हूँ ना किसी एलिफेंट से मैं तो सिर्फ अपने रास्ते पर चला और साथ ही में पूछा गया डायरेक्ट से आप क्या सोच रहे हैं इस बार उन्होंने बोला मैं इस बार टू पॉइंट ओ वर्जन लेकर आ रहा हूँ अपना इसमें मैं ही जीतूंगा इस बार का विनर मैं ही रहूंगा He is indeed a wolf, but is he a wolf in sheep's clothing, Derek Lunsford? Listen, you have to respect the champion, of course. You know, so he's a fighter. You know, he makes me work harder and and brings the best out of me. And I'm here to to show a much improved version of myself. This year is 2.0 version. Derek 2.0. That should be something to see. That's for sure. Fuad Abiad. Yes, sir, Bob. My question is for Samson. Hey. Well, that's a surprise. Stay, <laughs> Stay out of this. <laughs> Samson, you uh, have a rubber match of sorts with Nick Walker and him being out of the show. You know, he beat you at the Olympia. You beat him at the Arnold, and people were kind of waiting to see that third matchup. So what does it mean to you that Nick is not able to compete? Is it a sore spot for you that you're not able to get to go up against him again this year? Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you guys for having me here and for all of you guys for being here. It means a lot to see so many people support this sport. It's such a great thing to see, and I really want to say thank you, for each and every one of you, for supporting this sport the way you do. Um, to to Fuad and his, your question, I mean, honestly, me and Nick won the Arnold, and I messaged him and I asked him, look, do you want to have a training session? And he called me all the way from Tampa, and I tried all the way from London to just come train with me. He showed me how to train my back. Nick has always been a great support to me, and that was just over just a year ago. And I was so looking forward to having him on stage and us sharing the stage again together this weekend. And to find out the news of what happened to him, it's, it's a sore spot, man. It makes me feel really hurt. And honestly, I truly wish him a speedy recovery and I hope we get to do this again real soon. So, Nick, if you're out there, I'm praying for you, buddy. Get well soon. Of the Olympia predictions this year from not only our uh, celebrity experts, but of course experts around the world, we know there's a whole bunch of them. They say you got the size, you got the shape, you got the symmetry, but you've got to have the conditioning. I asked your buddy Fuad earlier, how's he look? Fuad said, I don't know. He hasn't sent me any pictures. So the question is, do you have the conditioning? Well, uh, as you guys can see through my history, I have a thing of shocking people every time I walk up on stage. And I have a very good thing of transforming my physique in a very, very short time. So we're going to see the surprise tomorrow. Don't worry about that. Say, so, I'm absolutely walking home with that trophy. But that's not the only reason I'm here this year. You know, this is my fifth time chasing after a title. I've been on the Olympia stage, been competing for 10 years. And if I've learned anything, it's that in the past I felt I've had to just shut down a lot, repress a lot, and just go into this performance mode to win the Olympia and just kind of like push everything aside. And this year, what I wanted my goal to be was up to be different. I wanted to feel the whole journey. I wanted to have fun training. I wanted to enjoy the process, feel the ups, feel the downs, not just numb them all out. So that when I show up here, the week before the Olympia, I'm present, I'm happy, I'm excited to be here. I'm smiling, I'm chilling with my family, they're all here, and we're just having a good time, because that's really what it's about for me. I put in the work, I know these guys are fighting for second place, and I'm just here to have fun with it. So, it's going to be a good there year. There we go. So now we got to hear Dino. Oh yeah, listen, we got a whole bunch of competitors here. Yeah. Uh, Ramon Dino, if I get one more dinosaur sent to me in my email, by the way. Enough, people. I love Dino, okay? Great competitor. He's going to give Chris a good run for his money. And Urs has certainly established himself. So we, we got a, a great competition here. Breon is back, but let me stick with Chris just for a second. Chris, Sean Ray says you're in the wrong division. 
you should be in the open. Your eye should be on that, Sandow. You should be in that open. He thinks you got a legitimate shot, Sean. Is that right? Chris knows. I told him two, three years ago he's in the wrong division, but he's doing what he's got to do. I'm right where I belong. <laughs> now, and you've said many times, you don't know how many years you got left, but you still got some gas in the tank. Would you consider, if you were to win five, would you consider hanging him up on the Olympia stage, but only temporarily, only to grab a different pair of trunks and give that Sandow a shot? Sorry, I kind of blurred out. Like, to, on Saturday, would I do it? No, no, not, not the same weekend, Chris. You, I'll do it this weekend. If I mean, listen, I, I know you're an overachiever, me, but there. that might be a little bit much. Open. Oh, that, that would be cool, Phil, you know. But no, no, like, hypothetical, like you say, you say, okay, five's enough, I'm retiring from Classic, but I'll be back next year, and I'm going for that. I don't know if you're trying to excite the crowd or get these guys' hopes up, but I don't think so. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, Urs Kalosinski says that you ain't even going to get five. He's going to put an end to that, right? I trained hard all year. I worked with my coach, Hani Rambaugh. This is our third year working together. And he and I, our relationship in terms of coach athlete and also our personal relationship has grown tremendously. So we understand each other better. He understands me and he, you know, he knows my body now much better and I execute the plan. So, but at the end of the day, you have to have passion and love for this. You got to want to be in the gym and you got to, you got to love this. So. I live it every single day, and I just want to be the best, absolute best version of myself. So regardless of who I'm standing next to, I'm only focused on me, and the opportunity that I have to compete on this stage is a window of time in my life, and I want to make the absolute most of it, so. All right. Yeah. Seven-time yeah. Olympia champion, Phil Heath. Oh, uh, Phil, if, I'm sure you got a whole myriad of questions, uh, but uh, you look like uh, we got a couple empty. The why I'm standing up is because I can't just be sitting in the seat next to Sean. Well, Sean takes up a lot of room. Oh, man. You know, I mean. Whatever the body body is, whatever the question is, it's our Phil Heath, Mr. Art, time Olympia. He asked me, let's see. The you and you. You need to be staring at this. If you're not staring at this, why are we here? Think about it. So when you're asked these questions and stuff, there's names on that damn title. Every person who has won the Open is on that title. History is made here. So I got a real question. Hadi, is anyone else's name going to be on there? Or is it just going to be your name going to stay on there? خب فیل تو خودت چندین بار این قهرمانی رو تکرار کرده میدونی حس من الان چیه و کامل بیشتر از خیلی ها کی کارشناسی کردن میتونی منو درک بکنی خیلی از قهرمانان یه دوبین گرفتن برای یوتیوب رفتن تمرین کردن ولی من امسال تمام وقتمو گذاشتم برای استاندو تمرین کردم و امسال تکرارش میکنم uh, Phyllis, you have done this before and you repeat this champion many times before so you can understand my feeling. Um, maybe other people, they trained and went and posted many videos on YouTube for YouTube, but I have been trained hard and try to improve myself and I'll repeat it again for sure. And uh, since I'm still here, Got another question and is going to transition. Chris Bumstead. <laughs> um, you're here to do what you've done before. Is it just another day at the office? I see that you have a gentleman next to you that you've trained or. तो गाइस कैसी लगी ये मेरी अपडेट और भी आपको फास्ट अपडेट चाहिए तो चैनल को लाइक करें शेयर करें और सब्सक्राइब करें और ऐसे प्यार बनाए रहिए चैनल पे तो कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा मैं इस तरह की वीडियो आपको सामने फटा फट फटा पर पेश कर सकूं थैंक यू सो मच आर यू हियर टू जस्ट विन दिस थिंग और यू हियर टू एक्चुअली डोमिनेट दिस थिंग 
because there's a lot of people that believe that you can do it. And of course, there's people next to you that think you can't. I'm here for a few reasons. 